Hi everyone, I am Dr. Srinivas Bhutla, Senior Consultant Neurosurgeon at Yashoda Super Specialty Hospitals, Malakpet. As a neurosurgeon, we operate upon the brain for various indications and brain tumor is one of the most important indications for which we operate upon the brain. So these brain tumors are of broadly two types. They are benign tumors which are slow growing. They usually grow over a period of few months to years. And the other one is malignant tumors. These malignant tumors grow very rapidly over a period of few days to weeks. And there will be a lot of swelling associated with the malignant tumors. So that's why the surgery for the malignant tumors is done on an urgent basis as early as possible. The surgery for brain tumors, there are two types of surgeries. One is biopsy. In biopsy, we just make a small hole on the skull and we take a little bit of the tumor inside the brain by a special technique called stereotactic technique. We use a special equipment for that stereotactic equipment. In this case, in while doing biopsy, we don't remove the entire tum tumor. We remove only a small part of it. This is done for two conditions. Like uh, in the first case, uh, the diagnosis is uncertain. Even after doing the MRI, if we are not sure whether it is really a tumor or something else, then it is better to do a biopsy. And if the biopsy confirms tumor, we can do a definitive surgery later. And in second condition, the tumor is situated very deep inside the brain. So very close to uh, some important structures. So in that case, if we attempt a major surgery to remove the entire tumor, it will cause more harm than any good to the patient. And the second type of surgery is excision, craniotomy and excision of the tumor. Usually whenever possible, we always aim to do a complete excision or near total excision of the tumor. So this will reduce the tumor burden and will uh, the subsequent treatments of radiotherapy or chemotherapy will be more effective. Thank you.